He took the form of a man, a human being, and the companions didn't know who it was. And he went right in front of Muhammad and he put himself on the ground, put his knees to his knees and his hands on his thighs. And he said to him, what is Islam? The answer was, it's to say the shahada, perform the salah, pay the zakah, and the Ramadan. In some narrations in the Hajj. He said, you're right. And the companions, they were shocked. Who is this guy to say a question and then judge whether or not he's right? And then asked him, what is Iman? And he told him, Iman is to believe in Allah and his angels and his books and his prophets, the day of judgment and the predestination of the cutter of Allah. And then he asked him, what is Ihsan? He said, Ihsan is to worship Allah as though you see Him, even though you don't, but always keeping in mind that He sees you. And then the end of it is to talk about the last days, but that doesn't serve our purpose today. I want you to realize that this is not a new question. It's a good question to remind us how can I believe in Allah when I don't see Him? When I'm sharing Islam with other people though, and they say, well, especially an atheist, for instance, what proof do you have that there is God? We don't see God, we don't hear God, we don't smell, taste, feel, imagine that. How can there be such a thing? At the same time, I'll ask you a question. Can you see electricity? Can you see it? No. You can only see what electricity produces. But you don't see electricity. But it's still there. If you doubt it, just take your pen and stick it into the thing, you know? Woo! <laughs> you'll be saying, I am a believer <laughs> in electricity. Oh yeah. And what about cold? Hot and cold. You believe in hot, but you don't see it. You believe in cold, but you don't see it. You see what it produces, but you don't see it. What about sounds? There are sounds that I cannot hear, but a dog can hear it, or a donkey can hear it, or a rooster can hear it. I don't hear it. So there are sounds that we don't hear. There are many things in the creation of the law that we're not able to comprehend at all. We have no sense of it. But how about Allah? And Allah is not in the creation. But what we see is the evidence of what Allah has produced and then we can compare it to what Allah has revealed. Because He's given us two things. He's given us this life. You can look around. What do you see? Now look in His speech and see what He said about what you see. Do you see? Allah asks you in the Quran. Do you see? Have you not thought? Didn't you think? Does Allah talk to you that way? Yeah. And then He gives you a comparison of things that people didn't even know back then that we know today. So we have a website for you. Go to the website called scienceislam.com Science islam.com and you're going to find a lot of amazing things